Hi, I'm Cody from Wall Street Breakdown. Now, I know it's late, it's the weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, we all want to go out and have a good time. I implore you, please be safe this weekend. You didn't work this hard all week to make all this money to make silly decisions now. Let's get right into it. Talk about a silly decision. Bitcoin. We love talking about Bitcoin at Wall Street Breakdown. Bitcoin was up 5% today. That brought it just shy of $6,000 of Bitcoin, you know. Anyways, $6,000. Actually, some of the actual uh, cryptocurrency markets out there have it priced over $6,000. This comes on the heels of Goldman Sachs making comments about Bitcoin not really being a, a relevant currency. It made, I mean, we're talking Jamie Dimon just days ago mentioning, you know, not only did he mention a few weeks ago that no one at JP Morgan Chase would be doing any type of trading in Bitcoin whatsoever under his watch. He then said implementation on a large scale, basically impossible. Blockchain technology is, is something he does respect, but he just does not see it as anything but speculative nonsense. It's really tough to be able to understand where these people are at when they're moving when they're moving this thing up the up the market like this to six thousand dollars now of Bitcoin five percent today and I mean if the fluctuations have said anything I you can only imagine shorten Bitcoin now probably not going into next week you're probably going to end up making a killing it'll probably forty five hundred don't please don't do that speak to a licensed professional financial advisor. Do not listen to me. Do not be shorting Bitcoin net next week saying Cody told you to do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. But hypothetically, shorting Bitcoin next week might be a play that someone might make. Don't do that. Bitcoin now, or cryptocurrencies in total, <coughs> they have a, I'm sorry, I've developed a bit of a cough today. Cryptocurrencies in total have $100 billion in market cap. That's the proposed market cap of what they're worth if you broke down their no assets. Um, but their market cap would be about $100 billion. That's bigger than Morgan Stanley or Goldman Sachs. That's relatively unbelievable in and of itself. When we talk about cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, we already talk about the implementation not being not being feasible. The fact that the hedged inflation, the way that they, they um, protect against inflation through the blockchain technology and the way that new coins are added to the, the actual economy that they're trying to talk about building is understandable, but it's a man-made sort of a thing, the economy. We need to have kind of people being able to uh, augment things as need be to add or subtract currency from the marketplace to manipulate things, to hopefully get the ball rolling or to slow the ball down occasionally, and that needs to happen. So Bitcoin, while it has a, it's, it's a very forward-thinking way of trying to hedge inflation or to, to block out inflation as best as possible or to control inflation, whatever you'd like to call it, it's still implementation-wise, it just doesn't seem like it would be able to do everything we need it to do because the world is an ever-changing, evolving place full of humans making human-type decisions. And a lot of times when humans get together and make human-type decisions, you end up with some human error that takes other humans, smarter humans, to come in and make some adjustments. And Bitcoin is not really something that's going to allow for a lot of adjustments. Not to mention that it's just so overvalued at this point. I mean, I, I just don't understand the draw of people that are in it. Maybe it's a lot of people have made money. You know, like I got in a conversation with a guy at a supermarket today about Bitcoin. I mentioned to my wife, I'm standing in line, I said, you know, like, this, that, and the other thing, there wasn't a lot of news on Friday was basically what I was saying. You know, it's Friday. A lot of guys gone for the weekend already. We don't get near the earnings reports that you normally would. And the guy turned around in front of me and said, what do you think about Bitcoin? And of course, I got into the same diatribe that I give you guys about Bitcoin. But it just, to me, I just, I don't understand the draw. It's just, it moves so much that it seems like anybody outside the financial world would look at that and say like, well, the, the amount that it moves, look at how fun it looks. Well, okay, yeah, it does look really fun. It moves around a whole lot, but, you know, like, it's not, that's not what your money's about. That's not what you're trying to do with your money. You know, like, in, in my investing world, in my investing expertise, whatever you want to call it, you know, like, I'm somebody who definitely wants to buy and hold. I like dividend, drip reinvestment. I like, you know, strong board of directors, strong CEO, strong vision. You know, I'm very much a Warren Buffett. Buffett type of investor, you know, like I, I like to see strong structure and understand why that in a sector specifically is definitely the, the bell of the ball. Something like this, 
it's not even a it's not even a burgeoning technology. We don't find ourselves looking at a technology that's just on the come up where you're like, well, I don't understand. Like, I don't understand what it is. I don't understand the uh, specifics behind it or how they're going to be able to refine it and all the different avenues it's going to be able to use in. But I do see the technology. I physically see it. I see how good it is. And I see that it's going to go somewhere. You know, take... Um, Take a lot of the uh, autonomous vehicle stuff that we see, or and you know somewhere somehow that's going to be implemented. Whether it's implemented in every car in every street, or it's something that becomes a lot more refined at, at first, down to maybe a lot more uh, closed off areas inside warehouses and stuff that use a lot of autonomous vehicles. You never know how that's going to play out. Virtual reality, same thing. We don't know what direction it's going to take. Will virtual reality take over the? Um, the competitive gaming industry that we now see that's still being done, you know, on PC will it eventually become all virtual reality and you'll, you know, think you're in a s actual sword fight. We don't know where it's going to go. Bitcoin, on the other hand, it's not a matter of not knowing where it's going to go. It's, I don't know <laughs> if it's this size or it's half this size or it's 10 times the size. Who's going to implement it? Where is this going to be taken on? And you're just going to have government hands off and say, oh, yeah, no, no, we're we're not going to come and try to tax this or, or you know, like you're, you're going to have giant Bitcoin exchanges or trades that are going to go down that are going to be cashed somewhere. And you can imagine the government in your country is going to come and say, there's still revenue made here because you can turn this in back into cash. You're not autonomous from this you're going to end up still being involved in the regular currency system and bitcoin is not going to then be adopted or grandfathered into a currency system where they go sure the lira hasn't been working for us we'll we'll do bitcoin that's what we'll do and we'll implement it's not it's just not feasible so while other industry you and i'm sure we've got off on a bit of an explanation here but i mean you got to bear with me we've talked about this a long a long time and a lot of times and bitcoin just moves around and does all this nonsense and i just feel like i have to re-explain or give a new explanation as to why i still don't see something that's up five percent today and cracking all-time highs again as a relevant type of investment in a properly structured portfolio if you've got a really good, well-balanced portfolio, and you are 30 years old with no kids and a good income and things are stable and you want to allocate 5% to speculation, I'm not your financial advisor. Please consult with a licensed professional financial advisor. I'm not your financial advisor, but I would say that's probably the right time to do some speculating. But as a whole, to, to hear adults, 50-year-old adults, talking about their retirement in the same paragraph as talking about Bitcoin, it's a media thing. The media is doing this. The media is making Bitcoin, and I'm now a part of this. You know, like so, I'm as at fault as the rest of the media, except that I'm at least saying, "Geez, keep your hands off this for right now," because tell me the implementation. We've got a comment section. I'm Cody from Wall Street Breakdown. You know what? I'll be quiet about Bitcoin, and I'll let you tell me while I why I'm wrong. So I'm Cody. You can subscribe, click the notification bell while you're down there, thumbs up for the video, right? I mean, we like talking about Bitcoin, it's an interesting topic. I like being able to get into why and why not. I feel like it's good, and there are some very good points. I agree very much with Jamie Dimon said, you know, a few days ago, um, but I don't see how it works. I don't see how it works on a bigger scale. Enlighten me. Talk to me like I'm dumb. Who knows? Maybe I am dumb. Speak to me like I am. Go into the comment section. Leave me a comment. Big, long college dissertation. Let me know the full facts as to why you're right and I'm wrong and Bitcoin is the future. I am looking to be proven wrong on this, but I also want you to have a safe, happy, healthy weekend. Come back next Monday for more financial news. Thanks for stopping by.